All right, guys, this is a quick video. Uh, a lot of people were telling me that they were having issues trying to um, just download the software and everything, get everything going. So I figured I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible. I have a lot of family home right now, and I'm just trying to do this before I get any distractions. Okay, so first of all, for people who are asking if this is going to work with uh, like um, Mega Drive consoles or Mega Drive, Mega Drive HD consoles, it is not. It has to be an Ad Games console because the firmware is coming directly from ad games um, a lot of you are asking what's the differences between the consoles so here we go this is the 2017 model it even says this right here 2017 um, this model you can easily identify it because ad games will be right here there is no volume switch there is no sd card and also on the box there is not a section for saving saving discs Whereas this is the new model right here. So people are calling it, um, let me see, I think it's, they're calling it like, let me see if it's, it's not listed here. I have it on my other video, but it's, I think it's like F3638B or something like that. But uh, on, on uh, Amazon, they're labeling it the flashback gold edition. This is the model with the SD card. It does not have ad games up here, but it does have ad games down here. It is just not showing on the box. It's stating that there is a, um, a save slot, 720p. The save uh, SD card slot will be right here. This one's kind of strange because there is a volume switch, but on this model, they are not showing a volume switch. That's very interesting. But this is the one right here that they are selling. Um, that has the SD card slot and again on the sides of the box it will tell you all the dimensions and it'll explain that there is an SD card slot on the side of this box so that's how you can find that box so now let's go to the website so this is the website um, if you type in ad games or if you talk to ad games there it has I mean it's it's linked to their website in a way but this is called ad games flashback zone so if you basically typed in at games flashback zone into Google, it would pop up. It'd be like one of the first five for sure. And this is the actual website where you would be able to get the update. It says it right here on the top. I'm looking for firmware updates. Click here. So we're going to click here. Now it's going to tell us to register. So I'm going to click to register. And basically down here, um, Sega Genesis flashback. This is the one you want. There it is. There's the model with no ad games at the top ad games is at the bottom in black there's the volume switch and the sd card slot should be right here somewhere this is the one you want it'll even say it right here and on the sides so uh the download is right here if you're not registered or you try to register or well basically if you try to click on the download it's going to tell you to register first i'm already i believe registered in yeah see it doesn't even it doesn't really make an account for you just all it is is basically if you try to download it it's going to ask for your your name or your email and your name and that's pretty much it why because for future downloads or future firmware updates they're just going to email you and let you know hey there's a new firmware update come download it that's all so uh where do you get your serial number a lot of people are having issues with this where can they find their serial number not a problem. If you click on this, where can I find my serial ID? It will tell you. Okay, so you're going to turn on your console and you're going to go to look in your menu. You're going to go all the way on about. Now, it does mention that you need an app for this. And it says right there where the app would be. But you don't necessarily need the app. Now, this is where your uh, serial number will be. Do not copy this one. There is different numbers for different consoles every console has its own number okay yours will be right here where it's highlighted in red so you're going to go to your console you're going to look at this number copy that number down you're going to enter that 16 digit number right here then you're going to click register or you can try to click download what it'll do is it'll take you to a page to register i can't do that here because i'm already i'm already entered let me see if uh yeah, I was going to sign out to, to walk you through it. But it, it's basically just another page saying what's your email, what's your name, 
and uh, and then you register um, or click the bottom to get future updates of firmware and then register and then you're able to download this once you're registered I do have a lot of people are stating also that the December 27th 2018 is not working for them I have this model or this firmware update it does work so now let me show you uh, the disk that I have I'm using this disk right here this is the SanDisk Ultra it um, transfers 15 megabytes per second of data I would highly suggest you have an SD card like this and not an older model SD card because your games will upload faster it's just it transfers data a lot faster so um, I have no problems with this this is definitely enough space if, uh, I believe I have 75 games on my SD card right now and I have plenty of space for saves and for more games and I'll show you that in a second um, so if you've tried this oh and another issue that people are having um, a lot of people this is a little this little like gray bar right here make sure that it's not locked because when it's locked down here you're not gonna be able to transfer or add any data so make sure that little bar is up some people are having that issue like please play, <laughs> pay close attention to your little your little lock bar here makes all the difference so say um, you have an older model SD card and this you know your SD cards still not working not a problem you're going to format your SD card to FAT32. How do you do that? I just typed in Google how to format SD card to FAT32 and it shows you a step-by-step -step process of how to format FAT32. And it should work after that. Let's see. So, um, I'll show you my SD card real quick. So here's not my SD card. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, okay, so here's my SD card right here. And, uh, so data that'll come later that when you first please have like a blank SD card it's just easier to work with a blank SD card um, the update here's the update right here it's gonna be a bunch of numbers when you first download it you have to change the you have to rename it okay make sure you rename it Sega underscore update dot I am G okay I am I am G Sega slash uh, underscore update dot IMG. Um, you can find, uh, I guess I'll redo the the steps in, in the description of this video to help walk you through the process. This should be the only thing on your SD card when you uh, up, upload it to your, your, um, your console. And when you do, after you have that, make sure that you... Um, you rename that first before you put it on your SD card, okay? While it's still on your PC, you should rename it to Sega underscore update.img. Then put it on your SD card, okay? After you put it on your SD card and you put it into your console, make sure the console is not turned on when you put it in, it's not gonna work. Make sure your console is turned off. And then turn on your console or put the SD card in turn on your console sorry I'm in a I'm in a hurry here I'm kind of like speeding and everything up <laughs> that's another side I'll show you in a second um, so when when the SD card is in your console is going you're gonna get a screen like this where it says an upgrade firmware has been detected do you want to upgrade your console you're going to click left on the d-pad for yes now please understand that once it goes through the upgrade process it's going to reboot itself it's going to restart itself and every time it restarts itself it, this this page is going to keep popping up so to bypass that the second time around you can you can click on no or you can pop the sd card out of your console put it back on your pc and take off the file the sega update file take it off store it somewhere safe because you might need it later so um and, and once you take that file off you will never see this page again because that becomes a pain in the butt if you keep it on your sd card so once it's updated for the first time around you're gonna when it, when it reboots itself it's gonna look like this now your, your menu's up and now suddenly you have an sd card um section for your your roms 
So um, that's basically how you put it on. It's a really simple process, but some people are having issues, and that might be because you have an older SD card, and you just need to format it to FAT32. Um, or maybe it's just the labeling process. You know, you're not, you're not, uh, you're not labeling it correctly. Sega underscore update dot I M G. Um, after you're done doing all that, um, then you're going to make your, your game folder. Okay. Once you take this off, take that, that off, you're going to have a game folder and then, uh, that should be the only folder on your SD card. Later on, this one will pop up when you start saving games. So don't worry about that in case you're like wondering, well, what's this data folder? It's your saves, your game saves. If you choose not to save onto the console, it'll save onto your SD card. So on mine, I have a lot. I have a total of 75 games on here. And if I was to go into properties, you can clearly see... Um, how much space I have available. Okay, let me go on properties on the actual disk. Hold on, here we go. So, this is how much I've used on the card. This is how much free space I have on the card. So technically four gigabytes is enough. Yeah, I have enough for more games if I want or for uh, more saves. So you don't need a crazy 16 gigabyte memory card. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty much enough space. So basically that's how you get that on there. And I hope this uh, helps you guys out. And, uh, thanks for watching. If you still have issues, I will link step-by-step -step process in the description and you're more than welcome to comment. And I will definitely reply to everybody as soon as I, uh, you know, as soon as I get those comments, I will definitely reply to you. So. Uh, oh, one more thing. All else fails and you cannot get, um, you can't get it to work f to, s to save your life. Okay. I had met a guy the, the very first day I had, the very first night I had got my console, which was probably about two, three days ago. Um, I was looking everywhere for information. I couldn't find any information whatsoever. And I bumped into this guy's video and I just started talking to people in the comments. This one guy, he gave me this website. This website is for a completely different interface. I will put this in, this website in the description for you guys. If you choose to go this route, now when you go this route, you are hacking your, your console in a way. You're putting on a completely different interface that is not ad games. So this is totally up to you. I have not done it. Because in a way, I don't need to do it because everything works for me. I'm totally fine with the way my console's working right now. But the link is right here. And he explains everything that he's done. And then uh, basically just showing you a screenshot of what your con uh, console basically interface would look like if you were to download this interface. You'd get this side art here. Um, it, it almost looks kind of like a, a mini SNES. Uh, you would be able to put your Sega games in there, your Sega CD games, your Nintendo Entertainment, PC Engine, never heard of that, and your Sega Master System games. Again, this is totally up to you. If you want to go this route, that's on you. So, uh, yeah. Definitely, uh, uh, good luck, <laughs> you know. And uh, again, if you need anything or need to ask any questions or anything, uh, definitely hit me up in the comments. Uh, and I'll try to answer everybody's, everybody's comment for you. So yeah, good luck and uh, happy gaming, guys. Laters.